Hey everyone, hey again. Let's talk about the other type and the other phase of cross-site scripting, which is stored or reflect oh sorry, stored or persistent cross-site scripting. Stored or persistent cross-site scripting is the most bad type of cross-site scripting because whenever you execute a script on the vulnerable web application or vulnerable server, it gets stored in the database as for example like a one of the database entries in the server it gets stored in those entries so whenever a user goes to the vulnerable page in which you previously have entered your script the script will be run and whatever whatever written in the script will be sent to your server as cookie or ip address or whatever that depends on your I mean the objective or purpose from creating the script. Now let's see how we can explain the script, uh, uh, exploit this vulnerability, navigating to cross-site scripting, persistent, and to your blog. Basically, in here, we will insert our script. Our script behavior will be to let the sorry, let me close something in here. Okay, so our script behavior will be. Whenever a user visit this page and click on this button, in any in any word scenarios, it would be like when a user click on search button or submit button or comments, whatever whatever uh, a button is used for viewing something or be, it's like PHP function which handles specific queries to render a page or to submit a comment and etc. So. We will enter our script in here. Our script will let any user who will or who, who, who likely navigates this and goes to this uh, web page. If he clicks on this button, okay, our script will get executed every time a user visits or clicks on the button on this page. So after that, our script will execute and then send us the cookies or the user's cookies to our server. So for example, in the best case scenarios, if an admin goes to this web page, our script will execute and send us the admin's cookies so we can get access to the admin panel and get root access on the web server. So let's see how this goes. Let's first get our script from my attacking machine okay my script I have typed it in here I'm gonna copy my script so going back to my entry okay my script in here will let the uh, web server connects to my server which is on this address gets the stealer which is a php script used for um, intercepting and monitoring the connection that may be likely made between me and the server and then alerting me or logging the ip address and the cookie of the user who is navigating the vulnerable web application and then after that, it will redirect the user to the main web page of the server. In our case, is the utility server. So, let's get that executed. See what's going to happen. Let me first clear my lock file. So things will not be conflicted. Okay. Clicking on this button so as you can see my script got executed and me as a normal user or as an admin user whatever my access privilege I have been redirected to the main web page of the vulnerable web application so let's go back to my server and check the log.txt file to see if I got anything so here we go guys I got the IP address of the server or of the server that's being attacked, the port number, 
as you can see and the most important is I got the cookie file of the user of the user which uh, accessed the web page or the vulnerable web page or for example which executed the action on the vulnerable web page I can see also the the vulnerable web page that the user has requested as you can see in here page equal add to your blog to PHP so guys this is the most dangerous cross-site scripting so let's see if another user has access to this web page what's gonna happen for example me as a normal user um, has access to the web page and got the script executed to send the cookie to my server let's see how this goes with regards to an admin user let me click clear this going to my utility going to my sql logging in as an admin okay admin access um those are auto complete that I that I have written before. So taking them, exporting SQL injection, getting admin access. Okay, now I am admin. Let's see how this goes. If an admin is on his server and suppose he navigates to the vulnerable application on his server, see how this happens regarding an admin access going to the Vernon web application okay and see here let's go to my script as you can see I got the um the cookie that should be different because it's an admin cookie let's go back and click on view blogs click on show all okay going back clicking on refresh Oh, I'm sorry. Now, okay, as you can see in here, I got the admin cookie, which seemingly is the same cookie that I was using before. But we can make sure that we got the admin uh, cookie because, as you can see in here, the username is telling us that this, this was an admin access. So how to fix this guys? I'm gonna clear my log. Save. Okay. Suppose we are suppose we are suppose like I'm an IT administrator of my web server and some attacker adversely impacted my site in a way that every, whenever every user accesses to a web page or a vulnerable web page in my web application, I um have my users uh, like execute the script which inadvertently inadvertently let the user execute the script that the attacker have implemented okay so I'm an admin IT administrator in here who has been hired to fix this or suppose me like a secret developer for a company whose their website has been hacked or their website contain a vulnerability in an XSS like XSS, stored XSS and they hired me to fix this how can I fix this so guys the cross-site scripting or the entry that I have created as a script definitely it got stored in the database which is SQL database so basically if I want to clear this and fix this up I need to remove the entry which the attacker adversely has inputted or entered in the field so as a secure developer I have to navigate to oh suppose I am a like security operation analyst tier 2 analyst who needs 
to contain and eradicate the infection. So going to my PHTML admin. I hate autocomplete. Okay. Access denied. Access granted. Okay. Now, going to my NOASP, which is the database tied to Mutiridae, clicking on block table, blocks table, which contains all the entries that have been made by users who navigate to my website on daily basis. Going down, I can see all the entries that the users have made during their browsing in my website and if we going down a bit we can see the malicious entry that has been made by the adversary so click on delete click on ok ok so it has been deleted so so from an from an from the perspective of incident response or security operational analyst as a tier 2 analyst you need to contain and eradicate the infection by deleting the responsible query or script that has um, get my server got my server infected with reflect uh, stores cross site scripting so let's go back and see if Everything is all right. Going to my today. Going to my supposedly vulnerable web page or the vulnerable form. Persistent at your blog. And boom, the infection has been removed and taken off. So that's it, guys. Let me look out. Hope you like it. Thank you.